All right, guys, so uh, we built this a couple days ago and I hadn't been back. Now I'm getting ready to do the uh, software for you. I'm gonna show you how this works. So if you haven't loaded beta flight and you haven't downloaded BL Heli, uh, you need to do those. I've got videos and you'll find some links here, but I've got videos on that already on our site on how to do that. So I'm gonna skip over the how to download those programs and we're just gonna get into now that you're assuming you have them, what we're gonna do to set this up. So watch what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring beta flight over. I'm gonna have beta flight open here. Let me just maximize that screen and I'll put the uh, drone in the top uh, left corner here. Bear with me a second. I've just got to get this set up. There we go. Nope. Nope. Wait. There we go. All right. So here we are, Beta Flight. And in case you guys are not familiar with this, if you'll notice in the top right here, uh, you're going to see where it says Update Firmware and Connect. Please understand that when I put this screen like this, those buttons are going to be covered, but I'm going to assume that you know what, uh, what when I say connect and update firmware. And I don't want to move the quad because there are other areas of this screen that are going to be important. So again, that's what it looks like. And then when we put that on there, it's going to be just like this. So just so you understand that, so there's no confusion. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug the quad in. Okay. Now, I do want to show you something that's very important, so let me just go ahead and kind of get down here and show you this part real quickly. You'll notice that your, your, your um, flight controller will actually power up and the VTX will power on. It'll start getting hot, um, even if you're just running on five volts, okay? So from your, from your uh, USB, for example. So let's go ahead and take this moment to kind of understand how the VTX works so you can turn it off, all right? First thing we want to do is I want you to, if you notice, if you quick press these buttons, right, if you quick press this black button right here, you're going to see the channel itself changing, right? So, and, and that's what you're going to see here is, is the channel changing. Now, if you want to change, let me, let me switch something over here real quickly. So, um, so if you want to change the band that you're on here, let's say you want to go to, uh, sorry, you want to go to uh, channel A, B. I want to see how they like to call these because I always get these frequency and channel okay so you have your channels and your frequency so this quick press here where you see the number changing four five six seven eight that is going to be your channel if you want to change your frequency hold this down for a little bit and then let go uh sorry that's not how i want to hold it down for a second let it go and then you'll have your letters okay so hold it down let it go and you'll have your numbers hold it down and so it's like i guess maybe a second one let go and now you can switch your frequency a b c d e f g now the other thing you can do is you can change the power on here and if you look right here you're going to see this red light okay one light is 25 milliwatts and let me make sure i'm looking at my diagram here that i've got uh sorry one light is 200 milliwatts um, if i hold it down longer uh, it goes off zero lights is 600 milliwatts all right and if i hold it down again uh, let me do this real quick. Okay, we've got two lights. And two lights is going to be 25 milliwatts. If I hold it down again for a long time, one light is 200 milliwatts. Hold it down again. No lights is 600 milliwatts. Hold it down one more time, and my number turns to zero here. That means there's no power at all. It's off. So just understand that. So a quick press is going to be the channel. A one second hold and then quick press will be your frequency and then a uh, long hold of like two seconds will actually change the power. Two li uh, one light is, and I have to keep looking back, two lights is 25 milliwatts, one light is 200 milliwatts, no lights is 600 milliwatts, and if you long press it again, it'll change the channel to zero, it'll show zero, which means it's completely off. So please make sure you get yours to go to zero right here. All right, now with that said, let's go ahead and get started in Betaflight. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this plugged in and click connect. And I'm gonna scroll down here to my CLI, just so we can understand what we're working with here. And we're gonna type in the word version. And we're gonna see that we're running on an Omnibus F4. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click update firmware. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna make sure on our drop down that we have Omnibus F4 and then you can download, I assume this shouldn't be a problem, you can download the newest one here, so 4.2.11. Click that, leave full chip erase on, leave everything else off. Do not have show unstable releases on, just make it look like this. Off, Omnibus F4, the newest release, no reboot sequence, full cheaper race is on, and manual baud rate is off, and then click load for firmware online. Now, if you're running the new beta flight, right? So this is, uh, let's see, 10 point, oh my gosh, is that, I don't know, it's release three or what have you. Um, there is an issue, I think it shows me here, right? Uh, let me go to welcome. What am I running on mine? 
I want to say that it is, I don't even know where it shows it here, but there's a release, oh, 10.8. I think this is 10.8 release two that I'm running. You can run release three, I believe. Either way, here's what's gonna happen or what could happen is when you go to do this, you say load firmware online, you've downloaded everything you've got, you click flash firmware, okay? Um, I have this beep going now. And then if you have the buzzer and I didn't even think about that, you're gonna have that beep. I'm gonna cover that with my finger so it shuts up. But what you're gonna see is it says initiating reboot loader and it's not loading. It's just sitting there. You need to close down beta flight, all right? And reopen it again. It's, I don't know why this happens. I haven't really taught, reached out to them to ask them. But then when you go back to update firmware and you click here again, wait for it to show up. Everything will populate again. And, and now I'm gonna click flash firmware and it's actually gonna go through the step, okay? So this has happened on quite a few boards. So when you click load firmware or flash firmware, it puts you in DFU mode, but it doesn't start the loading. Just close beta flight down, open it back up and, uh, and just continue the flash firmware once it lights up and you'll be just fine. So it's gonna flash here real quickly. I'm gonna keep my finger over the buzzer real quick uh, just so we don't have to listen to that. I usually don't have a buzzer on here, but for this build series, I did put that on there to demo. One other thing you're gonna notice is that I changed from this mount, uh, which is what I showed you initially. Uh, I went to this TPU mount that we're making. Uh, I think only the first couple editions that we sent out of this were gonna have this mount. Uh, instead, we're gonna go with this one. It's quicker and easier to put together. And then what that does is it also changes the back um, uh, screws from eight millimeter to 10 millimeter. So you'll see that change if you get the kit uh, after this video. So it says programming successful. So what we're gonna do now, I don't know if it'll let me. Yeah, I'll just click connect, click apply custom defaults. Now I'm gonna let go of the buzzer. Once I do that, I'm gonna click connect again. And it's gonna tell you here there's no motor protocol output. That's fine. Uh, and then, it, and I think that's it. the accelerometer is enabled, but not calibrated. Okay, so at this point, what I want you to do is just click close. And then I want you to click reset Z axis, but I want you to have your drone flat and facing away from you. Click reset Z axis, click calibrate accelerometer. And then I wanna to go to the motors tab just so we can get rid of that error. And for right now, I just want you to go down here and drop to one shot, one, two, five under the motors tab, go on the ESC protocol, one shot, one, two, five, click save and reboot. Okay. And we're actually, uh, we're actually going to stop right there, guys. So that's step one. Now with the beta flight is basically getting the firmware loaded and getting those uh, default uh, set up so that you don't have any errors when you log back in. So now we're going to come back in just a second and do the second video. <coughs> and I'm going to keep them short like this so that we can get people to uh, get caught up. Okay. So I'll be right back in just a second. Let me get you back to the screen that you'll be on though. When we come back, there it is. I'll see you guys in just a minute.